content out and i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know how you pulled all this together but that is super amazing in a business within itself my friend so keep doing what you're doing and i expect to see this platform go beyond just what we're doing today first off michael like how how did you get started in real estate first uh, it was out of necessity okay and that's the wrong way to learn um, but when I was coming up, like many of people who was probably watching this, kept going into foreclosure and uh, I was in military. I got tired of seeing it. I noticed it was a very small sum. Um, and at the time I just bought my first home and refinanced it and realized if I refinanced my home, bought mom's home, um, that the rent that somebody paid for my one home would pay for both of the homes. And then I can go live my life in the military. Uh, so out of necessity to take care of my family and keep my family together, that's how I came across real estate as a way to solve financial issues. Um, but how do you get started? Uh, it took the military for me. Um, I always needed security um, to really undergird all the business decisions I made. So it's like, hey, if something falls through, I'll always have something. What type of mindset do you have to have to even get into real estate or have that thought to get into real estate and then manage all of these properties? You have to be creative and you have to be vicious. Uh, it's not like my nine to five. My nine to five, I show up and they feed me, right? right? I have no concerns. Matter of fact, I die, they take care of my family. The benefits are great. I, have, I just gotta show up in uniform. Uh, right. But in the investment world, it's a totally different animal. And I, I even, I tried to bring both. And I say you have to be hungry because there's always a guy like me who's trying to take your lunch, okay? There's sharks out here. I tell people, if you're looking to buy a home, like they, you have clients that come to you, they wanna buy a home, it's different, right? You don't have to deal with a shark. A shark is not looking for a home, right? But when it comes down to investing and I need to make money on that, listen, I don't sleep, all right? Seven to seven, 12 to day. When I get off of this, I'm gonna be Zooming with my son in school because I'm trying to take somebody lunch and I'm trying to teach him how to take somebody lunch. Mm. That's to be very organized and professional yeah. and manage people. So I have to be that when I put on my, my army fatigues. But when I put on my collared shirt, you know, then it's the shark. So <laughs> I call him Earl because you have to be Earl too. Sometimes you got to, I tell you, you got to be a little, you got to let people know you can take it there. Right, right. You gotta have a little bit of edge. I tell you, I just want you to know I might go to jail, but I have a bail money. Oh, um, <laughs> to go into that. So it's as far as like the, the daily tasks that you do, do you have like a set structure? I'm very, I learned not to make a plan. And I probably would drive somebody crazy if they actually try to figure it out because <laughs> part of the creativity, what I've learned is any plan that I've made is gonna get busted. I try to always be prepared mentally and physically to do what's necessary at all times. My creativity, my ability to think, when somebody called me with a problem, how I'm gonna figure it out. And it's the same thing I use as a nurse. Uh, you can't predict when somebody is going to uh, code on you. You can, yeah. you can have a good guess. You can't predict when somebody, uh, I work in sight, that somebody's going to go psychotic on you. Yeah, right. You can have a good guess, but you have to always be prepared.